the Statue of Liberty, Liberty Enlightening the World, French Lalibert Eclair Lamont. It's a colossal neoclassical sculpture on Liberty Island in New York Harbor within New York City. The copper-clad statue, a gift to the United States from the people of France, was designed by French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bartholde, and its metal framework was built by Gustave Eiffel. The statue was dedicated on October 28, 1886. The statue is a figure of a classically draped woman, likely inspired by a Roman goddess of Liberty Libertas. In a contraposto pose, she holds a torch above her head with her right hand and her left hand carries a tabula ansata inscribed July 4, 1776 in Roman numerals, the date of the U.S. Declaration of Independence. With her left foot, she steps on a broken chain and shackle, commemorating the national abolition of slavery following the American Civil War. After its dedication, the statue became an icon of freedom and of United States, being subsequently seen as symbol of welcome to immigrants arriving by sea. The idea of the statue was conceived in 1865 when the French historian and abolitionist Edouard de la Bourrie proposed a monument to commemorate the upcoming centennial of U.S. independence, 1876. The perseverance of American democracy and the liberation of nation slaves the Franco-Prussian War delayed progress until 1875. When Laboyer proposed that the people of France finance a statue in the United States, provide a site and build a pedestal, Bartholdi completed a head and a torch bearing arm before the statue was fully designed and the species were exhibited for publicly at international exposures. The torch bearing arm was displayed at the Centennial Exposition in Philadelphia in 1876 and in Madison Square Park in Manhattan from 1876 to 1882, fundraising proved difficult, especially for the Americans. By 1885, work on the pedestal was threatened by the lack of funds. Publisher John Pulitzer of the New York World started a drive for donations to finish the project and attracted more than 120,000 contributors, most of whom gave less a dollar, equivalent to 34 in 2023. The statue was built in France, shipped overseas in crates, and assembled at a completed pedestal on what was called Bedloe's Island. The statue's completion was marked by New York's first ticker tape parade and a dedication ceremony presided over the president. Grover Cleveland. The statue was administered by the United States Lighthouse Board until 1901 and then by the Department of War. Since 1933, it has been maintained by the National Park Service as part of the Statue of Liberty National Monument, its major tourism attraction. Thank you all for watching, lovelies. I hope you like this video. And meet Mega at Jivim. Nagkita na dyan may sa New York. Nagbakasyon dahil sila sa iyang banaw, sa iyang mga higala. Nagstay sila sa New Jersey and I had time. So, nagkita mi og one whole day sa New York City. And ako silang gi tour sa mga places na popular places like Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, Rockefeller Center, Ground Zero, Hop On, Hop Off Bus, tapos everything in between sa mga lakaw-lakaw. Sa Cathedral, St. Patrick's Cathedral, I hope you had fun, Miga. I hope to see you again before mumupa uli sa Canada. See you soon again. I really hope that you had a blast sa inyong bakasyon. Teresa USA Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe Mrs. G Adventures channel and at Jivim too See you all next time lovelies Bye bye